Hello everyone and welcome to today's Tech Tip Tuesday video. Today we're going to talk about a neat little report functionality where you can actually filter um, further in depth into your reports. And so I'm just going to show you an example here for today's Tech Tip Tuesday video. So as you can see here on my screen, I've got the filter up for the active jobs report. And let's go ahead and just run this report and see what we get. So here we can see our list of active jobs, and this would be all of our active jobs. So the functionality that we're going to talk about today is this button that you see right up here at the top of the screen, the search report button. This button is very unique because what this button allows you to do is even uh, filter your report even further than what that original filter will allow you to do. So let's say, for example, I want to filter the data on this report to where I just want to see jobs that have an order quantity of one. So we can see the first three here have an order quantity of one. Then we get into an order quantity of 100, 700, 15, so on and so forth. So I don't want to see these larger jobs. I maybe just want to see that my really quick short jobs that I have currently active in my copy of Job Boss. Well, we can do that using the search report button. So let me show you how this works. When I click the search report button, I'm going to get the search report pop up here. And all I have to do is select the field that I want to filter off of. So what I want to do is I'm going to filter off of the field that is the order quantity field on the report. And then I have to come over here to the select argument field and choose. It's kind of like we're building a formula, for example. So what do I want where the order quantity is what? And so probably the easiest thing to pick here is equal to. And then in the value field here, I just have to put in my one. So what I want to see on the report is search the report and show me those items, those jobs, where the order quantity is equal to one. So I'm going to click the Add to Formula button. That's going to bring it down here in the window. And once I hit Apply, you'll see now all I have is the jobs on the report that have just an order quantity of one. All right, we can see here there's make quantities that are larger than the order quantity, but we had just filtered out the order quantity. And we could even filter that out beyond to where if I wanted to get rid of these two jobs that had a make quantity of two, I can just go into search report and build out the formula even further. So show me where the make quantity is also equal to one. I can add that to the formula and hit apply. And now we can see those disappeared. So just keep in mind that's a great functionality, that search report button. It's just a great way to really dial down the data that you really want to see in the report. So that's going to wrap up today's Tech Tip Tuesday video here. Uh, make sure to come back next month and be looking for another Tech Tip Tuesday where we'll show you a neat little trick um, that you can use within Job Boss. Thank you for watching. Thank you.